Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Hope you're having a great Wednesday night. Hello if you're new here. Yes, welcome to the channel. Consider subscribing if you want to be part of this fun and awesome gang. So yes, in tonight's video, we're going to be talking about the new app exclusive from Bath & Body Works. We finally got the first look of the full-size products for Perfect and Pink. So I was so excited. So I've had the hand cream for about what, almost a week now. I've been talking talking about it we've done a couple videos about it and again we're going to be talking about it because they dropped the app teaser today uh so what we're going to go ahead and i'm going to throw up this little reel that uh bath and body works uh had on their app and they should have it on there right now and then we'll go ahead and we'll go through the screenshots and then we're also going to compare it to the jergens original scent cherry almond lotion yes i know ellen from k girl's mom she has been wondering is it similar to that so let's go ahead and jump into the reel and we'll jump into the screenshots and we'll get started So yes, the Perfect and Pink, the full-size products look amazing. We got a new bottle style for the body wash. We're going to get into that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through each screenshot here. So the first one, we have Perfect and Pink. It says luscious, bold, and delightfully playful. We're going to hot, we, it says we're going hot for the holidays. Tap to sneak a peek of your new It fragrance. And it says the app exclusive. We have all of those little pink bows there. We got the fine fragrance mist. It has a pink automizer. That is awesome. So yeah, they're calling it the new It fragrance. And they might be right. So yeah, I cannot wait to smell the full-size products. All right, so the next screenshot here, we have the scent notes. So the official scent notes. So we have pink camellia, we have vibrant cherries, and whipped almond creme. So yeah, the pink camellia, that is a real scent note. That's pretty much what it looked like on Google as well. Uh, so I'll be interested, interested to see uh, if any of you uh, in the gang, if you get kind of like a floral note from this. Hopefully um, not too much. I really get a lot of the cherry and that whipped uh, almond creme it's so good so next screenshot evokes the magnetic vibrant sensation of lush bright pink fabric gathered into a swooping bow and it says here louise turner is the perfumer for this fragrance and i think they've done a great job and then also here, another little quote from the perfumer it says a symbol of voluptuous femininity all right, the next screenshot, I love the different like imagery that's playing in the background too. Uh, so it says here, a celebratory adornment. So yeah, there's something about platinum and this perfect in pink. It's a really uh, like celebratory holiday, New Year's Eve type of vibe that I'm getting from both of those. Uh, and then it says here, um, so yeah, we have the ultimate accessory. And then the next screenshot here, it says, Pink Miss, here we come. So we're not having a white Christmas this year, gang. We are having a pink Christmas. And it says, Turn heads this holiday with swirls of velvety fruit, flirty hints of addictive florals, and indulgent sweetness. So, okay, they're saying it's a velvety, fruity scent. Has flirty hints of addictive florals and indulgent sweetness. Yeah, it's definitely fruity. It's definitely sweet. And it's definitely addictive. And then here we have that fine fragrance mist there. So it looks like a huge like pink bow. I love that perfect and pink. Um, it has like a square border or like a label. And it kind of looks metallic. So I think that looks awesome. All right, next up we have... Turn heads this holiday. Okay, so it's the same thing, except for they're showing off the body wash and the body cream. Look at those, like, juicy-ass cherries on the bottom. Like, super juicy. As Kent would say, 
juicy. Yes, yes, yes. And we have that bottle style of the body wash. Like that is just looks so cool. I don't know. I cannot wait to get this collection. Okay, so next up, we have another screenshot. So we have the full size of the perfume. I cannot wait. I think I might get two of these. Hopefully the perfume's not like too much floral. I really don't get like a floral. It really does just, I get like a gourmand, fruity, foodie type of scent. It's so good. And that bottle style, it kind of... It kind of looks like a 3.4 ounce bottle, so let's hope so. Okay, and then I think that's it. Yeah, so that's all of the screenshots, and I cannot wait to get this collection. So I'm hearing rumblings. Uh, th it is pretty much the talk of the town right now. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been watching my videos lately. I really appreciate you. Uh, but yeah, I'm hearing it might be out this coming Monday, so that's going to be after the mist sale. So you might get lucky. You might be able to get the mist during the mist sale, like Sunday night. Uh, but yeah, I'm so excited for this to come out. So let's go ahead and compare it real quick before we get out of here to the Cherry Almond from Jergens. So I went out and got this body lotion today. I figured, you know, even if it doesn't, you know, smell like it, I think it'd be a great body lotion to kind of pair with that fragrance. Okay, so here is the differences here. So we have the Perfect in Pink, and then we have the Jergens. So let's go ahead and rub these in here. Now the Jergens, I smelled it earlier. It's pretty strong at first. Definitely has similarities uh, to the Perfect in Pink. Oh my God, the cherry is so good. If you love cherry fragrances, you're gonna love this fragrance. I do feel like it's the same cherry as Firecracker Pop, but it's not as like bright and it doesn't have that citrus that uh, the Firecracker Pop has. So it's definitely a different scent. I don't know. I don't think they smell like similar. Yeah, the Perfect in Pink is a lot more creamier. A lot heavier on that, like, fruity cherry. Yeah, I get a lot more of, like, a foodie gourmand type of feeling from Perfect in Pink, whereas the Jergens, it kind of just smells almost like a, like a cherry lotion. I don't get like that gourmand like feeling from it. Yeah, I can't wait for this to come out. So compared to the original scent here, Jergens Lotion, the Cherry Almond, I don't think it's an exact dupe. I don't think it's similar. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more muted compared to Perfect in Pink Hand Cream. But yeah, I'll be excited to see like what all the products are. So we're for sure getting a fine fragrance mist, body wash, body cream, and the perfume. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a diamond shimmer mist and uh, some candles and a hand soap. Uh, yeah, definitely an amazing scent though. So hopefully it comes out here in a few days. It is the talk of the town. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great night. Happy spooky season. Yes, I'm actually burning spooky moon teeny right now. So we'll be doing a review on that candle this month since it is new at Bath and Body Works for Halloween this year. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you in the next one.